Finn had said 23, and I believe that 23 year olds are lonely because of uh, phones, people uh, totally to the phones looking at Facebook posts and shitty memes, and they all just laugh alone. <laughs> Phyllis, I'm 20, and I believe 16 to 23 year olds are lonely because people are too scared to reach out over fear of being judged nowadays. Charlie, um, 22. And I think people are lo- I think people in that age grab bracket are, are lonely because of all the social stigmas and people care too much about other people's opinions and stuff. My name's Peter, I'm twenty two and I think people in our age bracket are lonely. Um, because of the way people view young people in today and a lot of that comes with stuff at the time, like Finn said, the internet is a big player in that. I think it's to do with the way society views us. I'm Catherine, I'm 23, and I think people our age are lonely because we have a tendency to compare ourselves to everyone else on the social media, and if we're not seen as doing the fun things as everyone else is, we sat, we sit at home and compare ourselves to them and wonder why we aren't good enough to do that. Hi, I'm Hannah, I'm 20, and I think people our age are lonely because we rely a lot on social media and talking to people over text rather than face to face. I know a lot of people say they prefer talking over social media than they do face to face. So I think people find it harder to talk to each other in a way. So, uh, Zara, I'm 20. Yeah, I think people in that age bracket, it's like social media, not speaking to people. I think it's an awkward age as well, where like when you're younger, you have your parents there all the time. When you're older, you have your partner there all the time. This awkward edge between is like, you can't really, you have to be really close to reach out to someone. There are disadvantages having my gender. First off, I don't think it's a competition. I think there are disadvantages to both genders. Yeah. And I'm not here to be like, well, oh, I've got more problems than you. <laughs> no. I think for males, the, the main thing is kind of toxic masculinity. Oh, yeah. yeah. Where every boy is kind of supposedly supposed to be brought up to be like a man, be strong. And that's not the case a lot of times. Mm-hmm. Feels like there's a wall there sometimes when you're talking to certain men and you can't really be yeah. yourself around them because you're just like, Oh, you, you, you're clearly one of these people who just thinks that men should be a certain way. Exactly. And that's not the way I think. I think there's an expectation that, well, some people have an expectation of what a man should be. Mm-hmm. And that's not, that's not always necessarily what men want to be. I think men miss out on the feminine touches. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Such as having beautiful nails and beautifully <laughs> <laughs> make upon. No. Yeah. I feel like women are sometimes more supportive of each other than men can be. Mm. Not that men aren't supportive of each other, but like sometimes it takes a little more with certain people to just be like, oh, come on, man, we can, we can tell you that you, we love each other. We yeah. can say that we're like, it's, we can be supportive. I think that's a big thing. Yeah. yeah. I think as well, like in terms of like sex and stuff, like so women are still like quite, it's not slut shamed in a way, but like we kind have it. Like a rep, a rep, a, we get a reputation. A, reputation a man has sex anything. with fifty people, and he's a legend. And yeah, yeah. So sex like, with fifty people, and she's a slut. Yeah, even yeah, though it is getting better, you still, yeah. like, people still make comments on it. Like even girls do sometimes. Yeah, we are so big. And like, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and it's, it gets you down. But you're like, well, why should I feel that way? I'm just enjoying myself. But I still feel like that stigma is still, yeah. still there yeah. a lot. I think there's a lot of pressure on appearances as well. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Women a lot. Yeah. Um, I know it's getting better and everything, but I think there's still a pressure to look after yourself and in like a certain way, in a way, yeah, like you have your stereotype and you stick to it. Like people expect you, if like you've won, you've got a certain type of personality, you should look a certain way. I feel yeah. like that is mm-hmm. like still there, kind of a little bit. It's bad that people who it's bad that it's it's bad. What I've noticed is I have a tendency to be like, oh, they're not wearing makeup today, or like, oh, this person chooses not to wear makeup, and it's bad that. Yeah. Like that's the level that it gets into your head. Like you just expect women to always look yeah. a certain way, and when they don't, you're like, oh, okay. Sometimes mm-hmm. people still expect you to wear makeup. Like when people say look professional, like not many people like to wear makeup, and people still expect women to put makeup on, do their hair nice, and that's not what every girl likes doing. And then there's still an expectation to do your makeup every day and look nice every day. And when you don't, people are like, 
What's wrong with you? look a bit scruffy sick. today, yeah. yeah. I think there's a huge <laughs> thing as well with like emotions for women. So if I think like if a woman cries, we aren't taken as seriously yeah. as if a man cries. Or she's just having her yeah. emotional breakdown. I think that's a big thing. Yeah. Yeah. The role of protector should be a man's job. So no one agrees that no? No. No? Disagree? Come forward, sit. It goes, it goes back to like, I think just uh, like a, a nature instinct thing, like yeah. you get like hunters and gatherers or something, I don't know, I don't know nature, I don't know how to <laughs> But we're living in a time where that's not really applicable anymore. No, no. And like, <clears throat> even in terms of physicality, uh, like I've got a mate called Izzy and she's like, she used to throw like hammer and stuff like that and she's hench as fuck and I'm a little weed. <laughs> she, can, she can she can literally like throw me about the room. So even in terms of like physical protection, it's it's just no. Men can be strong, women can be strong, and in uh, yeah, it's just bullshit. Yeah. <laughs> but I, I'd expect I'd expect that from anyone that I was with. If I feel like I'm being threatened and like properly feel you like I'm being threatened, your back. Yeah, yeah. It's not just down to oh the fact that he's my boyfriend or it's the fact that I'm out with <coughs> male friends. Mm. It would be like I want. Protection yeah. from people. Yeah. Like, fine, I can understand it. Sure, if you're on a night out with your partner and it is your boyfriend and you're being threatened, I can kind of see. Maybe you would kind of be like, okay, help. But I don't. For me, it wouldn't be like, oh, it should be because you are a man. Females have been scripted from birth to play the role of the mother. It's difficult for me to say not being a woman, but like from what I, from what I see a lot of the time, it, 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 we, 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 not always to be a mother, but that plays into it, but like we, t we tell women to act a very certain way. Like some of what we were saying about men before being a certain way, I think we, there's a lot of things that are just taken as normal that we are expected to like teach women to like be like from a yeah. very young age, even if that's counter to their personality, and I think motherhood could, pl could play into that, yeah. but I, I, don't, I don't know enough about it to say well, that that's it like, for sure. It's things like, right, so <coughs> from babies, what, what colour do you get them clothing wise? It tends to be blue if they're a boy, pink if they're a girl. It's changed now. It is now and it's getting better. But, but there's still like, the fact that we can bring that up yeah. off the top of yeah. their heads, yeah. blue boy, or like, girl, pink. Yeah. Or like, if you're getting them a toy, your, your, your a friend's Barbie got a baby, a kid, yeah. what do you get them? Barbie dolls, baby dolls things like that that they can like mother and pretend to mother like even back in my secondary school it was weird if you were a girl and you took DT instead of home ec. Like, I feel it's always like an expectation like I know your family don't mean to do it but they're like always like oh one day you'll have kids and like like oh this yeah. will be you That's what I mean everything like that we just take for granted and like yeah. you'd see the normal is it like normal piece to, <laughs> to, <laughs> to just people like and they'd be like oh no that's just normal we're just saying that because it's a thing and then yeah. it's like yeah, but it sh might not need to be yeah, a thing. Yeah, and it, a lot of people view it weird. Like if you say, I don't want kids, I feel like there's still that stigma, yeah. like, uh, why? And you're like, well, I just don't want them. Yeah. Well, Sounds unpleasant. Yeah, it does sound very unpleasant. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's true. I, I feel, feel like we've been having a lot of conversations about that recently. Yeah. Like girls have been like, oh yeah, no, I don't want kids. And you can see a lot of girls going, going you don't, but that's what we're meant to do. And it's like, but we don't have to. Exactly. It's that mother instinct as well. Yeah. So yeah. Take her, her the child. Yeah. yeah, I think they are. Yeah, I agree with that. And with males as well, they they uh, tend uh, and mostly they they work whilst mother the mother takes care of the yeah. child. I mean, that's been changed in some countries, but I believe yeah. it's still that in England. And like the um, coronal maternity leave for men yeah. isn't like halfway as long as it is for women. Yeah because they're just expected to go and work and win the money for home while the mum looks after the kid. But the child does need a father yeah, exactly. figure there as well but to grow. But I, I, I do agree, it, believe that it, the, the mother has, has been given that challenge to mm. take forward because of society. Mm. Could we disagree to come forward and discuss your opinion? I think, yeah, like there's, there's this whole, as humans, our main aim is to 
produce offspring and oh. whatnot. <laughs> but I never, I was never brought up with like hammering like you have to be a mother. Like when I was a kid, I used to play with action men, like Lego, whatever. My sister was playing with all the babies, but it's never been a thing that I've been brought up with. Like you have to be a mother. It was more like you have to be a human, be a good person. That's mm. what I got brought up with. But then so I don't know. I've I've never been. There's never been a pressure for me though. As a person, there's okay. never been this pressure of like you have to be a mother. Mm. So I've never taken it very like. I don't know. I'm just yeah. That's why. Yeah, I think I think I agree with what Zara says. Like no one nails no one nails it into your head that you need to be a mother. You've got the choice whether you want to be a mother or not. Mm. So I don't think. It is, I don't think it's important that you should be taught how to be a mother. I think being a mother comes down to being a decent person. You, if you have a child, you're going to look after that child. I think it's just your, like your instincts really, isn't it? You want to care for the child, you want to put a roof over the child's head. And, I, and I, if, you, if you look at some people, I'm pretty sure everyone in this room knows someone, or might, they might not, I'm not naming anyone in particular, but that is someone that's had a kid and someone that's not a mother, not a mother to that kid. Do you think that could come down to some people having a child because they think they're expected to and not being prepared to care for it? It could be, yeah, but like the behaviour you, you I, don't, I don't know the word, like the way you act with that child, I think that <coughs> determines whether you are a mother or not. I kind of agree with that because like adopted mothers and stuff like that, yeah. you're not naturally, but they, they are the they are them like, I think because nowadays, they chose to be. A mother could easily bring up the child to not specifically be a housewife or a mother nowadays. Yeah, yeah. totally. It's how, However, the mother wants to bring up the child. Yeah. She was brought up that way. I mean, like, she doesn't. I don't think mothers nowadays are, are told you have to teach a child to be a housewife, you have to teach a child to be a mother. Because in this kind of more liberal world we have, everyone has more freedom of choice than they did 30, 40 years ago. Mm. That's true. No, I, I think that's how a lot of it is. I yeah. think it's. Mm. I think it's changing. Yeah, I was gonna say I think it's changing a lot, <coughs> but I don't think it's anywhere near where it needs to be. It's a very conservative view, like if Jordan said there, like that, that was all made, you know, decades ago. And because it's the old people that are doing that, they still have like conservative views, whereas young people like us have mm, more yeah. of a liberal view. Yeah. It's still about though. Mm. Not everybody's gonna have that view. And I don't think that will I, I think <coughs> that'll just stop having that mother uh, you know, like the cooking set and everything because yeah. Everyone's on the new games. Mm. There's always a new thing that's always yeah. coming. Probably eventually. When you see like games that are marketed for girls, yeah. they're like always cooking games. Cooking games. Yeah. Like, like they're really housewifey game type well. games, aren't I had they? A and they're just Nintendo game that like, you used to look after the baby like you're a babysitter. Yeah. yeah. And like cooking. So even in this new age of like technology overriding some of the things that's like fucking a, a cooking set or a toy baby, it's still like seeping through in some we'll ways that I think versions. is kind of unhealthy to be. Yeah. Saying kids like, oh, this is what women do and this is what men do. Loneliness is imposed on you by others. It has to be imposed onto you by someone because it's no one's personal choice to be lonely. Yeah, we do, as humans, we seek out other humans. Yeah. Like it, like when your mum and dad says to you, go to your room, just go to your room and be alone and have those thoughts. Yeah, the fact that being alone is a punishment mm. kind of says that we would never choose to be lonely yeah. unless it was like something that's been affected by our mental state or something like that. Yeah. I can't exactly say how, but I know I agree with it. <laughs> like, you know, it's, yeah. I had a little hesitation now. I was just like, yeah, but it's true, but I don't know why. And plus with bullying as well, then people want you to be alone. Yeah. Because, you know, they just want to cause, they just want you to feel shit. So, mm -hmm. you know, they'll make you feel shit until yeah. you are alone and by yourself. I mean, if, if you are lonely, like you said, you, you seek help, attention. Mm -hmm. So it's not as if, you, if you're going to be lonely, you just set your content. If you're lonely, you, you seek attention, and that attention needs to be brought back to you by others. Other people need to accept you, and that will make you not lonely. So. Mm -hmm. <laughs> For me more like I find it really hard to talk to people, like I get anxious. Yeah. So I kind of 
choose to be alone to kind of give myself rest but when I am alone I'm lonely but <laughs> being around people it takes like a lot of effort for me and I do get like you I get, get really anxious and I have to get comfortable with yeah. someone like it takes me a lot to just sit in a room and be quiet with someone and I like that because I find it very difficult to like keep a conversation going because there's a million things going on in my head so I choose sometimes to be alone in my room I choose to sit there by myself but then I'm like I don't want to be here on my own because it gets to a point where like I've actually not talked to anybody or I've not seen anybody and that's I don't think that's other people making me feel like that it's me making me feel like that like my own mental health mm. so I feel like it's not other people it's my own thoughts and I think that's a lot for a lot of people like you were saying like you get a lot into your own head and then it just goes round and round and you get more exhausted and like oh I'm just gonna stay in and avoid it and not talk to anyone and then you're like I'm actually really lonely by yeah. myself. I think I agree with a lot of what you guys are saying it makes a lot of sense to me but I do think it's it's cruel to yourselves to say that it's purely your fault that you're lonely because like your 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 most of your guys reasoning is like that it's 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 maybe sometimes anxious to be around people and sometimes it's it's difficult to uh, to reach out when you feel like that everybody's against you. I I get that. That's that's a, that's a legitimate problem. But there's going to be something that has maybe made us feel that I'm not looking to psychoanalyze everybody. Here, but <laughs> there will be a reason why any one of us thinks that's oh they don't like me. I'm not good enough. I'm just yeah. not. I'm just going to stay by myself. And I think that could yeah. be a reason of imposed loneliness. It might not be through any one person, it might be for a whole plethora of things, but I think it is imposed because it is our nature, like we say, to seek out people. Yeah. And yeah. I think not wanting to seek out people is something has affected your mental state, our mental yeah. state, because yeah. I, I do relate to what you guys were saying. I don't see loneliness <coughs> as always being a sad thing. Like, I, I, no. on, off the back of what Hannah was saying about choosing to be on your own, I like to go places on my own, I like to go to cinema on my own. I choose to be alone on my own. But you're which not, isn't really a bad thing, I don't think. Like, that's not a bad thing yeah. at all, but you're not lonely when yeah. doing no, that, because you choose I, to I, do I, it. Yeah, I, I enjoy my own company, people enjoy their own company, mm. but it's also the fact that when you see people out, say if you were in Spoons on a Friday night and you're seeing a man on his own drinking a pint at the bar, no one around, no, not talking to anyone, just sat and mind his own business drinking his own thing, people will go, oh, that's quite sad. He's sat on his own, yeah. but is it sad? He chose to be, he might have chose to be there. He might be there on his own for a reason. And it might not always be a bad reason or a, or a good reason. It, you, you never know, but people always assume that it's a sad thing that they're on their own. I know I've done it before. That's sad that they're on their own. Yeah. yeah. But I don't I always think it's a bad thing. Like, I'm not disagreeing with anyone here, but I, I, I think that's, that's, that's why I think about it. I don't think it's always a bad thing. Yeah. And people yeah. always, not always, but often do see it as a bad thing. Chivalry, chivalry is dead. I think yes, but I also think that's kind of a good thing. Because a lot of the things that came with chival chivalry, I can't even say it now. Meant, like, I think a lot of that was kind of like based in sexism, and like not all of it, and not always intentionally, but I do think it is. Like the fact that like, oh, a woman can't open the door. <laughs> Fuck me, are you mad? Get the man to open that door, Jesus Christ! <laughs> women, yeah, like women used to be able to like not light their own cigarettes, and it would be, it'd be chivalry for a man to light yeah. a woman's cigarette for it. It's mad. I think that's. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I think that people should be decent to each other, but like to, to lump that into chivalry yeah. is, yeah. I don't like that. You take any group of lads nowadays and you can tell that chivalry's dead. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. Like the way that some boys like starting at someone's DMs and all that, like the stuff they say. <laughs> then on the other hand, if nowadays you do try to be chivalrous to a girl, sometimes a girl finds that a bit weird because mm -hmm. they're so yeah. used to just having it been dead this whole time. I think, yeah, I, I agree with that. Like there's like, you see it as like they're expecting something, like or if they hold the door open or they, they buy you a drink, they're like, mm. Mm, and yeah. you're like, well, that's not chivalrous. Like you buy me a drink and then be like, all right, it, they're expecting something in a way, I think. But then I also agree with you, where it's like, it, I don't think we should have it anymore. Like I enjoy, like I think when you go on a date and you're paying for the bill, I don't believe the, the guy should pay every time. Mm -hmm. Like I like I want to pay, and if you're in a relationship, you want to share it, and like 
either split it or I'll pay whatever yeah. I want. And I prefer that. Like, I don't know. I also like people paying for me. For me, that's my own personal preference. Yeah. But <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> it is. Uh, I think it just does does come down to like if if you want to be kind to someone, be it man or woman, hold the door open for them. Like, yeah. pay for their pay for their meal on a date if you want to. Yeah. Don't expect something from it and don't yeah. call it chivalry because it's no. just being nice. Yeah. In yeah, my opinion. Treat people how you want to be treated. Like, mm. just be nice to people. And plus, being nice. chivalry was never really chivalry in the first place, because we're, like, you're saying about, like, lads being lads. I think men have always been like that. Yeah. And I think yeah. chivalry was just a big mask to say, like, <laughs> oh, we are good people. We are good mm. society. No, we're not. We're fucking scum. Oh, no, you're not. <laughs> oh, thank you. Disagree? <laughs> <laughs> There's the people who take it too far, you know, the kind of white knight people who are like, ah, yes, I shall hold every door open for every woman and then she will sleep with me. And it's like, that's <laughs> not how it works. But thank you for trying. Um, yeah, that's a big deal. And I feel like, yeah, if you want to be chivalrous, if you're one of those men, if you want to do it just for the sake of being nice, fine. Mm -hmm. But I don't, I feel like today it's, it's got a very heavy undercurrent of men expecting sex. Yeah. And that's not fun for a woman of where you want to go. Like, there shouldn't be the pressure of, like, oh, he's done this for me, he's bought me a drink, he's paid for my meal. Like, is, do I have to? Like, I don't really yeah. want to. Yeah, because someone ever did, like, they were like, oh, if you take you somewhere nice, you have to put out. And it's a joke, but that joke shouldn't be there, yeah. do you know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> well, girls take advantage of guys thinking that yeah. they should be shivers, because, yeah. like, you've got a lot of girls saying that. Oh, I'm gonna get. I've got no money. I'm gonna get a lad to buy me a drink on a night out. Like that shouldn't be okay to say. No. Like no. as much as we're saying, men are sexist. I think in a way, women are very sexist too, and that's like plays into chivalry. Like we're obviously not very chivalrous if we go out saying. Mm, so <laughs> we play on it. Drinks. We like. We, yeah. Some of us like it sometimes. Yeah. And we kind of go. I can take advantage. Well, yeah, of it when it works for uh, women, I think they're like, oh yeah, it's fine. But when it turns into something bad, they're like, no, nah, that shouldn't be happening. So like, don't, don't we use it as like a tool yeah. to, like, to get what we personally want, yeah. what our desires are needed. So in a sense, it sort of is dead. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, we yeah. Use because it. it's not genuine anymore. Yeah. Mm. It's like, and also all these platforms of Tinder. Yeah. Oh, that's all they killed it. Thanks for everybody for who they really are. <laughs> <are. laughs> Everyone on Tinder. <laughs> it's taken all the emotion away, so yeah. 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 A big part of sugar is died, but it still has that spark. Yeah. I just think it's great that we're talking about this in general. Yeah. Just yeah. like going forward, saying it's it's just going to help break down a lot of barriers if conversations like this keep happening, especially between gen. Like I think there's an unnecessary wall between oh, men and women yeah. a lot of the time in society, and. Oh. <laughs> and <laughs> Yeah, when we talk, when we talk, <laughs> when we talk to each other, that wall comes down. We're like, oh, we're just the same. Yeah. We're just yeah. different biologically, and we we all have similar ideas and similar thought patterns. It's great to talk about stuff like this. I agree. I think we need to talk about it. Like people hide their feelings a lot and don't talk about their feelings. Where I think if you do that, it, it gets worse. Like mm -hmm. mental health. So it's good to talk about it and get it out in the open and understand other people's thoughts and feelings about it. So then you know oh, I'm going through the same thing, or, oh, I've been through that, how can I help you? And it's just good to, like, know that you're not the only one thing about it. Yeah. That's cheesy yeah. to say, I don't want to say yeah. it, but... <laughs> but it's true. Yeah. It's true, it's absolutely true. It's like we're all, we're all human, we're all on this earth. We all have to live, like, let's just come together and support each other. Like, there's, there's too much hate in the world already, so, like... Why not talk to each other? Why not support each other? Instead of having these having these walls where men can't speak to women or it's classed as harassment or yeah. I think it's good to have a discussion like in this manner where we're all respecting each other's other, like viewpoints and stuff and not in it not being a status on Facebook, this is my view, this is right, and having yeah. someone in the comments yeah. say you're totally wrong. <clears throat> it's nice to be in a in a room like this and talk to talk about things that should be talked about more, where people will respect and listen. And, and be supportive and if you don't agree then everyone's being polite I'm sure we've disagreed with yeah. things we've said tonight but everyone was respectful about it mm. yeah. yeah and we've understood each other better exactly. mm. Can you, could, you could go away with <laughs> different viewpoints on stuff so 
think it's been a good little thing to get together. And also teaching the 16 and 24 year olds about bits and yeah. Yeah. so the next yeah. generation Start don't have to learning. suffer mm -hmm. the loneliness of what our generation is going yeah. through. Yeah. 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 <coughs> I'm just going to read this little part that I've been researching you, but it's about <coughs> expressing the sea that rings true um, in your ears as well. Talking is a vital means of expressing, sharing and conversing. It's at the heart of friendships and relationships. It puts words to feelings in our, in our cares and allows us to share what's happening in our minds and let others into our world. Yes. 100%. So, yeah, just that point there of like, what, it, it, literally, as soon as you've spoke about it there, got me notebook. <laughs> you said the exact same thing that I've been looking at you, man. It's just about, you have to express in yeah. order for people to understand. Yeah. And I just want to say, man, thank you very much. And thank um, you. Thank, thank you for having us. This. It's, been, it's been awesome, man. And yeah. I love you. Yeah. <laughs>